This week we're comparing these two bad boys. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if this is your first time at 40 Runs I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it, go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community, check out the description, there's loads of cool things down there. Right so this week we've got the Epic Infinity versus the Epic Miler, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so we've got the Infinity and we've got the Miler. I think we'll start with the Infinity. Now, if you haven't seen my full review on this, check it out, done one already. Uh, this shoe is a injury prevention shoe. What Nike did with this one, and they replaced the structure with this shoe apparently, is they added elements uh, of stability within it. So they've done some tech, cool tech in the heel area to help you out. Uh, they've made the forefoot quite wide as well. Um, and yeah, it's just, they've worked magic in the shoe Nike to make you a little bit more stable while you're out there. I think this is more helping sort of uh, mild pronators uh, with regards to stability. I wouldn't say if you've got massive over, uh, if you've got a uh, huge pronation or stuff like that, I would probably go for a more traditional stability shoe. But there's elements of stability in this, so that's a cool thing. Uh, and I enjoy it as a hill striker and as a, as a mild pronator when I'm a bit tired and stuff like that. This helped. So as you can see, I've done plenty of miles in this. It's very dusty from down the canals. Um, you've got the flying it upper, which is great, breathable, lightweight, which I love. Um, it's like this all-in-one boot system, which again, because I'm lazy, I just love to slip on a shoe and go out and run. There was a lot of fuss about the heel slippage in this. There was a lot of heel slippage coming from um, a few of the reviews that were done. I have kind of got over that by lacing them up a little bit higher, and that sort of put my heel in a little bit tighter which has helped i do get it on slower runs if i pick it up a bit i don't tend to notice it as much but there is definitely heel slippage in there i do wonder where it's just the tech and the design of the shoe that where they've gone for different elements and it's sort of caused the problem down here i wonder if that's something to do with it but overall i spent a lot of time in this shoe really enjoyed this shoe right guys so then you've got the nike react miler now this brand new shoe from nike i think has taken little elements of different shoes uh, and chucked it all in here which is great you've got a nice heel to toe transition you've got a bit of a rocker on here uh, you've got the stability so look look at the two similar very similar designs so you've got elements of stability from this shoe in here you've got a nice mid foot cage as well which they've created which is nice again creating stability which i really like you've got durability uh, they put elements uh, it's like a synthetic material on the toe so they've created a shoe with a little bit more durability and talking about durability the outsole look at that fantastic taken from the nike pegasus which is great for me going down the canal pass toe pass that's fantastic that's uh, that's a real joy for me now don't get me wrong this has held up pretty well uh, with the outsole but if you compare the two Personally, look at that straight away. You're going to go for that, right? The only thing I would say is that this is heavier than this. This is 9.6 ounces. Um, this does feel heavier. This feels more about 10, 10 and a half ounces. There's no official um, weight I've seen from the shoe yet, but this is definitely slightly heavier than this. I think a lot of it's to do with you've got the flying it upper on here, where here you've got like this mesh material, which is quite coarse, and it's definitely not as breathable as this. That's the, again, that's another positive to this. But for me, I prefer this shoe. Um, why? I like the rocker. I like the React. I like the more traditional uh, feel of the shoe. So it's more, you know, if you look, you know, this is an all in one boot. This is a more traditional shoe, lacing, etc., etc. Um, I do like that. I do prefer that. I really like the React foam. I know this has got React foam as well, but it, there's just something about this. I think a lot of it is to do with the, the rocker that you're getting. That's a nice transition through it. Obviously, for me, massive plus is the outsole. I think cost-wise, £115, you can get this a little bit cheaper now already. Some of the uh, websites are selling these cheaper, so maybe that will uh, change your mind. Um, this reminds me a little bit of the original Nike Epic uh, React with regards to how it feels from the responsiveness from the React phone, which is kind of nice, even though it is a heavier shoe. Um, but to be honest with you, you probably still get the Nike Epic React, the original one's quite cheap as well, so that's definitely worth a look, especially summertime, uh, where you're not too fussed about the tread um, getting chewed up. But yeah, for me, out of these two, I prefer the Miler, but, uh, yeah, but I reckon actually check both of them out. 